From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, I'm Student Meteorologist Dana Osgood. Today joined by my entire shift to bring you a very special video to celebrate the end of our fall semester. Unfortunately, it's not a great day to do some celebrating. We've been socked in with clouds since the overnight hours, and we even saw some sprinkles early in the morning, and that's going to continue as we go throughout the day. Temperatures are actually a little bit higher than we would typically see at this hour for this time of year, and that trend of warming is going to continue as we go into the next couple of days. Temperatures are area in the upper 30s to lower 40s, which is again a little bit higher, but first we'll have Kate Groman take a look at our precip. Thank you, Dana, and yes, we will receive some rain today as we can expect some spotty showers across the state, so remember if you're going out to bring your umbrella. And as we take a wider look over the country, this is all being driven by a low pressure system that's over Ohio right now, so we can expect some spotty showers over the next a uh, couple days actually so for later today we can expect some spotty showers and then going into tomorrow morning we could also see some rain so remember to bring your umbrella on your commute tomorrow and that will clear out by tomorrow evening where we'll only have some cloudy skies and the rain should clear out and up next for the rest of the future weather is Allison. Thanks Cade. Taking a wider look at our weather for the rest of this week, after this rain system clears out, we're going to have another follow-in close behind. It is going to move in Thursday night and linger throughout the day on Friday, bringing mostly rain showers. However, we will have a slight chance for snow or mixed precipitation early in the morning on Saturday. This system will clear out, leaving just some cloudiness during the day on Saturday. Unfortunately, the dry weather will not last long as another system moves in right behind it overnight on Sunday. And we have a slight chance again for some snow or mixed precipitation. This will leave some residual precipitation into Monday morning. Thanks, Allison. Now, I'm Penn State student meteorologist Brian Michigan taking a look at our temperature change throughout the past 24 hours. You can see statewide across Pennsylvania anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees above where we were at this time yesterday. See here, you can see here State College, 18 actually, so certainly a bit warmer, has a lot to do with the cloud cover that we've seen overnight uh, this past evening. Now, as we look across the eastern seaboard, you can see this is a similar trend across much of the area. You can see near Columbus, 20 degrees from this time yesterday and 25 degrees uh, compared to this time yesterday in Nashville. Now, you can kind of see where our front is beginning to take place uh, out to our west. You can see Madison, Wisconsin, a little bit cooler than it was at this time 24 hours yesterday, uh, anywhere from 5 to maybe 10 degrees cooler. And that air mass is going to be moving its way eastward as we head throughout the next couple of days. Now, as we mentioned, rainfall is going to be the main story throughout the next couple of days. Uh, rainfall totals as we work our way through our Wednesday, not going to be a whole lot, lot here in State College, maybe nearing a tenth of an inch. But otherwise, as we look to our east, that's where we're going to see a bulk of our rainfall nearing an inch uh, in Allentown. So uh, the heavier rain will certainly be located uh, in the more eastward areas of Pennsylvania. Now, as we head throughout our Wednesday into Thursday morning, you could see down towards the south and west, that's where we see some of those blues coming up on the map, and that's going to be indicating a little bit higher rainfall uh, totals for those regions there. Adding a little bit more rainfall here in State College, but otherwise, we're not going to be looking like a whole washout throughout the next couple of days. As we head into Thursday, no changes to our uh, rainfall, rainfall precip accumulation. Uh, so it looks like Thursday we're going to see a break with some of these showers. But as we get into the Friday time frame, that's where you could see another round of showers really adding to these rainfall totals, nearing an inch in many places to the southwest and nearing uh, about three quarters of an inch here in State College. Now as we head throughout our weekend into the start of next week, areas like Johnstown in the uh, Pittsburgh area, nearing an inch and a half to maybe even two inches of rain. Now coming up next, we have Leah with your today, tonight, and tomorrow outlook. Thanks, Brian. Looking at our outlook for today, we have 43 degrees with light rain and winds coming in from the south at five miles per hour. And for tonight, we have the rain continuing with 39 degrees as well as calm winds persisting. And into tomorrow, we have it warming up with some scattered showers at 51 degrees with the wind still remaining at bay. Up next, we have Madeline with our seven day forecast. 
Thanks, Leah. I'm student meteorologist Madeline Zarkoski, and here's a look at that seven-day forecast. You're going to want to pack that umbrella with you the next few days. We are seeing some rain coming through throughout the day today and into the day tomorrow, but luckily drying up for the day on Thursday. A bit of cloud cover, though, and as we get into Friday, it's our next chance for some snow and mixed precipitation, but the weekend is looking great. Temperatures drop back down into the low 40s, but clear skies for Saturday and Sunday, and as we get into Monday, a little bit of sun starts to peak through once again. And from all of us here, we just want to wish you a happy holiday.